How's it going, guys? So today we're over on CT because I want to showcase an XP farming strategy that works on contested territories. And it's probably one of, if not the best, XP farming method in the game. The only caveat is that you have to be a little bit active compared to your average AFK deflation or whatever else it may be. Some of you guys might know this already, but most of you probably don't know that races are the most efficient XP farming per time. And unlike a race where you either need a race pass that costs real money or monkey money to reach Y, race attempts are free in CT as long as you have a ticket. So basically all you need for this is one ticket or team ticket available, or two tickets if the race you're trying to capture isn't captured yet. Because if you have zero tickets available, then this new game button will be uh, no longer highlighted. So yeah, this method basically works for every current and future contested territory. But of course, the maps are going to change. So uh, for this week specifically, I have looked, scoured across the map, and found the most efficient race tiles. So starting off with this one is an 80 round Alpine run race. And just so this is as easy to replicate for you guys as possible, I will have no relic selected. Ignore the daily relic because I can't disable that, but the Alchemist touch shouldn't really change things. So just showing how long it takes in real time, I have a timer in the bottom right corner that I'm going to start right about now. Now you want to play the race of fast forward of course, because uh, that'll get you the most XP per unit time. Doesn't matter what time we get on the race clock, even if we don't beat the top. In fact, it's better we don't beat the top so that we don't spend a ticket. So yeah, 2 zero, zero boomerang into ricochet once you can afford it. And then you send around 24 once you afford that. Now we save up to about $2,000 while slowly sending more rounds out. And then we can just go for the more glaive straight up. Next problem is camos and moab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a 320 sprockets on strong. And then I'm going to get a 240 over here. You could probably buy the dartling first, by the way, to not die to camos. That's what I would recommend. But yeah, now we can go for hydro rocket pods. Shoot then straight line. Micro isn't quite required for this, but it would help, I guess. In case you're really scared about dying. But this should be an overall very safe run. After the Rocket Storm, we want to go for a Marketplace, because that gives you money faster. Because we want to go for a Glaive Lord next. Now, once we're close to getting another Rocket Storm, we can send up to around 55. And then use the ability accordingly, but you really shouldn't need to use the ability. We'll send a couple more rounds out too, maybe up to 59. Because we can beat every mole by now. And what we're aiming for is a Glaive Lord, so uh, let me go ahead and sell, sell, sell. Here's Glaive Lord. And now, after that, we can send every round at once, and uh, yeah. Easy as that. Now we just finish it off by uh, getting towers that do good damage to ZMG. So I'll go for a Dark Knight on Strong. But other than that, you can pretty much just wait to the end. So uh, yeah, just left 27k, and there it is, guys. About 2 minutes 22 seconds for that run there. And for that race tile, we end up getting 125,000 XP. And based on how long it took us, 224, that's exactly 25 runs of this per hour. So just use some simple math. 125k times 25 runs, and we get 3 million XP in one hour. Now again, this is just a theoretical high, because nobody will probably be playing the same race over and over for one hour straight without stopping. Because as you saw, it requires activity unlike the other XP farm methods, but it still far exceeds the amount of XP you get AFK. So even just being active for half that amount of time will net you more XP. So because Pink captured this banner tile, I'm going to take it back, but at the end of this video, just in case you guys are curious about the best strategy for this tile. But before then, let's find more tiles, because the thing is, I know a lot of you guys probably are in shitty teams that have no tiles captured, so say your spawn is all the way over in red, and you cannot reach this tile. Well, don't worry, there's plenty of other tiles on this map. One I've scouted over here is Tile FBD. 72 rounds, so it doesn't give you as much XP as the 80 rounder, but it should be, be finished faster because of that. Precisely 92,000 XP for this one. I will admit this is a pretty rough one, so again, timer begins now. I'm going to place the Ice Scout here and send uh, 9 rounds. Fast forward. You'll probably send a couple more rounds if you see the balloons are uh, uh, pretty light, so 13 rounds there. I'm going to try to save an ace right in the middle here. So here we go. 13 rounds. Uh, let's get Pineapple Ace. And we're going to go into Bomber Ace. So again, just freely send more rounds as you see fit. Slowly, maybe one every two seconds or so. Once you get Bomber Ace, though, we can set up to round uh, 20... I would say 27. want to go for a 130. And then uh, I'm going to go for a Wallfire. Yes, the nerfed Wallfire. It's still fine. 
Trust me, guys. Want to go for a uh, 021. And then we can probably sell the Ice Tower for the uh, Deep Breath. And uh, set up to 39 rounds. 032, by the way. And now I'm going to build an Ice Shard over on this intersection. Two of them precisely. And then I'm going to set up to round 49. 49. I'm going to build a Juggernaut right after that. Into an Ultra Juggernaut. So $15,000 for it. You can either sell towers for it or wait by sending a couple more rounds. But I'm going to sell a couple towers just to speed up the process. So there we go. Sell two for the U-Jug. After this, you can send every round at once. But make sure to get camo. That would be a Shimmer. You also want to get other decamo to be safe. So I would do maybe Embrittlement. Couple of them over here to give the plus one damage debuff. Might look a bit scared, but don't worry. We're just fine. If you're really scared, though, we can go for an O2-4. Into O2-5 League Defender. But yeah, we should be fine here. So before I actually kill this, I'm going to pause the game and pause the timer. So that was about two minutes. That's because this tile is currently taken by my own team. And uh, I don't want to get a better time because that will actually waste my ticket. But that was roughly the end of it. So again, just do some quick extrapolation. Two minutes for a 92k XP. It gets you about 2.7 million. A little bit less than the Alpine Run one, but still very good. So for the two tiles I've shown were Relic and Banner tiles. But the thing is, uh, normal tiles might also be very good because some of them have a lot of rounds to them. So for example, let me go ahead and search tile EDC over here. This is a 65 round Monkey Meadow, and this one nets you 71,000 XP. And the benefit with normal tiles over Banner Relic is that knowledge is enabled, so you actually have an easier time. And so uh, this actually may be more efficient than the other ones, just because of how quickly we can finish it. See the two minute time over here? If you fast forward that, that's only 40 seconds. Of course, I won't go that fast for your guys' sake, so yeah. 3, 2, 1, let's begin. So I want to start off with a 0 to 0 attack over here. We'll send 7 rounds. We want to try to save for a Blaze Shooter. Once we're closer to fording that, we can send up to round 17. And then we can probably send up to round 24 because of that. Now, let's go for 130 Druids. Those are insane damage. We can send up to round 32 after one of them. And then 39 after the other one. Actually, before that, go for a Shimmer just in case of camos. And then now we should be good. And then now you want to go for Ring of Fire. Because that got buffed and it's now very good, so... We can basically send insanely fast. Just watch this, guys. 49 rounds for one of them. Uh, 58 rounds after two of them. And uh, hell, every single round now. Three roughs should do the job. Trust me, guys. If you're really unsafe, just get a Blade Maelstrom. But we should also go for an Overdrive, because that's better mob damage. Yes, yes, yes. I'm controlling here. Now we just wait for the end, and that was only a minute and 20 or so. So I crunch it into my calculator once again, and we get about 3.1 million per hour with this. And the cool thing too is that there's not really any downtime between finishing and restarting, because you have a play again button if you fail. So you simply don't have to go back to the menu, waste more time. You can just jump in and get the XP immediately. So that's cool. Here's another very easy tile. 70 rounds of logs, this one gets you 87,000 XP. And these are the towers. Let me show how quickly I can do it. So basically how I'm going to start here is uh, I am going to drop a 010 Ice Tower and send up to, I would say, 10 rounds. Because Ice can probably handle that much. And we want to go for a 203 Bomb. So you want to put it right here on close. Once you get 002, you can send a couple rounds, by the way, if you see that there's no more balloons entering. So basically you want to sell the Ice Tower for the uh, Bomb ASAP. After this, you can send up to round 27. After 203, wait a little bit for recursive and then send round 39. So I'm gonna send it right about now because we're close. And then now we just need cam detection. So I'll do an ice shard that hits camo. We'll also go for another recursive like that. Send to 49 rounds now. And uh, I wanna go for a 420 to decamo. Also upgrade this to embrittlement. It really doesn't matter exactly what you do here. Again, logs are so easy that. You just spam any of the two towers on screen, at least the uh, Imbrunum or the Recursive, and you can basically beat every round. So I'm just going to send every round at once like that. Spam two zero four Bomb Towers, because yeah, that's basically the freest win of all time, folks. And just to speed up the process, Overdrive Imbrunum and, and the Entrance, and just wait. This one does end up being a little bit slower 
than the last tile, but still very fast. Putting the numbers in my calculator, and uh, that is also 3.2 million XP per hour. Not too shabby. And now let's finish off with one more tile here. This one is uh, an intermediate map, so it actually gets you 10% more XP. Precisely 85,000 for 6-7 uh, rounds of this one. So let's begin. You also want to go with the play shooter right on this bench over here. Send up to 7 rounds because we're a bit short of it. You can draw the free dark monkey if you want, but I'm going to opt not to. Just in case you guys don't have that monkey knowledge. But you probably should. So yeah, once you get Blade Shooter, again, you can basically send up to 17 rounds. Uh, up to 20. Up to uh, 27. We'll go two blades on this side, both sides. So before it lets come, don't want to send out 28. Now that you remove the middle though, and go for Cluster, you can basically send up to 39. And uh, I'm going to sell a Blade just to afford it faster. Going to go ahead and Alpha up to 2. Gonna go ahead and get a Camo Juggernaut for the Camos here. And 40, 49, 49. You wanna alp up this Juggernaut because you wanna turn it into basically a, a an Ultra Juggernaut. So you can pretty much afford that right about now. So I'm gonna sell the Recursor for it. And then now we send out every round and see where we finish. In case you're struggling, another Recursive. And another one. Or zero two. And uh, the rest is pretty trivial. We can just do Wing Monkey, Alpha Buff, the Ace. Uh, pretty much anything goes. If you want to defeat the last balloons faster. Alright, waiting, waiting, waiting for the BFBs. Uh, round 0 would probably be a better choice, honestly. But yeah, I was just thinking on the spot there. Another 1 minute 36 or so. This is, again, pretty consistent. Pretty much every tile. These 5 tiles I've shown you. They all make you about 3 million XP per hour. On the best case scenario. So yeah. Hope this helps you guys if you need XP for level ups. Once again, I know that these race towers are harder to execute than your normal gameplay. But if you fall carefully or just play slower, I assure you it'll be just fine. Not to mention, you still get the XP too if you lose. Keep that in mind. So let me go ahead and beat this 315 time now on Alpine Run. The relics I'm choosing are Starting Stash, uh, Box of Monkey, uh, Marching Boots, and uh, Restoration. Marching Boots are super helpful here because it basically increases the cap of the towers you have by one. So you can do two more glaives instead of one. This much money means you can definitely go with the farm. And we're going to go up to 35 rounds. All the way. Upgrading to 2-2-0. Two, 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 going for a 3 zero, 2 ricochet. There we go. And then send 39 now. Sell this at about 800 or so. There we go. More glaives. Let's go for another boomerang. 3-0-2. Before Camos kill me, I gotta go for a uh, cleansing foam. Let's go to 45 now. 49 as well. Bit risky without mob damage yet, but we're fine. Trust me. Let me go ahead and buy it mid-round. I should be able to afford this soon, so come on. We'll go to 55 now. Let me get one Hydra Rocket. Gimme. Cool. And then let's go for a farm. Actually, let's go now. I'm gonna try to push it really hard here. So that's a 32 second faster time than the current one. So if I win here, we take those. And I think we can afford Glaive Lord right about now, right? Yeah, very easily at that. Holy. Now, I mentioned earlier that once you get a better time than the uh, current race tile, you, your ticket is used up immediately. So you can't try for a better time unless you uh, stop before the game finishes. And I'm going to do that just because I think I can push this even more. Can we get faster than 32 seconds ahead of the uh, current time set on this one? I think so. Okay, so let's try to be a bit more aggressive here by going for damage over camo first. So, uh, ricochet into more glaze before going for the uh, decamo foam. 45 now. 49. Now we'll put foam a bit higher up so we decamo a bit earlier. And hell, let's go for a farm as well. Just because affording that, um, what do you call it? The Hydra Rock Pot is pretty expensive. 755 now. I want to set full set at about 220, so wait for it. 220 on the clock now. I'm trying to focus on mo, by the way, so I don't die to it. This will be a 39 second time today, which is actually insane. If we can get it to work. But again, that's a big if. So let me lock into place. Use Rocket Storm. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. No, I'm a thousand dollars short. Okay, that works though. I just have to maybe wait two more seconds or so. Okay, so again, we're looking at 219 for the Rockstorm, 218 actually. Okay. 
Yeah, let's send a bit more safe here. So about 36 second time save. Let's just mic the Darling carefully so we don't do anything silly. And then Rocket Storm. And then get ready to sell. Got it. All right, there we go. About time. So now we can freely uh, survive with the Glaive Lord and just get farms before actually upgrading to other towers. I will go for a Dark Knight for sure. Probably a Tech Terror as well. And because the last boon is a rainbow, I want to insta kill it by doing. Uh, I would do a 204 trap, multiple of them. All right, there it is, double trap. And uh, hopefully the cam was here on the last balloon that spawns. Nope. Now we just wait. There we go. Actually, 42 seconds ahead of uh, our previous time. So that's better than the 35 that I thought. All right, GG. 233. Very solid time. In fact, it's good if you set a very good score for the race tile you want to farm. Just so that you don't end up accidentally beating it. So that again, you only use it by most one ticket. Because if you keep getting a, be a slowly better and better score, you'll end up using all your tickets. So all these tiles I played here are valid for you to farm XP with until CT ends next Tuesday. So if you're watching this early, make sure to get in while you can. Otherwise, uh, for future weeks, you can come up with your own strategies. Or maybe I can do another one of these for uh, future CTs. Let me know what you guys think. And hell, if there's any other uh, race tiles on this map that I... Uh, Maybe skipped over. That might also be really good XP farms. I saw something like uh, this one. 80 rounds haunted. But that's pretty tough. So I figured it wouldn't be as efficient. But yeah, again, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.